Hey guys, today I just wanted to bring you this. Yep, 6650XT. Let's go ahead and um, just uh, open it up and do a quick overview of the card. Asus gave us any stickers? Nope. Just a CD with drivers on it. All right, let's go ahead and get this unwrapped. Now this is the RX 6650 XT by Asus. This is the dual card, as you can see. Very nice. Um, this I can tell you is plastic, nothing special. Um, the back plate on the other hand, this, this is aluminum. Yep, it is. So, yeah. And uh, by these distinct little pipes here, I can tell that this is a, this has a vapor chamber type heat sink cooler so all right or actually you know what uh, I don't think so no nope. it's not a vapor chamber okay I'll take that back <laughs> all right let's get this thing um, just a quick overview let's get these things out of here and as you can see you got a display port HDMI and two more display ports here in the back. The layout for the fin stack, the heat sink fin stack, it's this way. So it's, um, as you can see here, it's a horizontal setup, which means that when the, the fan, the heat is blown um, over the heat sink, it's not gonna be going down on your motherboard. It's not going to be blowing down on your motherboard if you have it. If you have your card in the horizontal setup on a PCI slot in your computer. Um, so some of the hot air is going to exit here, which is, which is good, I guess. And uh, some of it will be exiting here towards the back as well. So yeah, and you got an eight pin connector here for power which really it's all you need for this. This is a 175 TDP card, so yeah. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and take this thing apart and see what's under the hood, yeah? Let's do that. And by the looks of it, it looks like it, this is a, um, like the, the heat sink cools the VRM and the uh, VRAM all in one, so there is no separate like heat sink for, for one area or whatnot. Okay, so I gotta make sure that I keep track of these screws because they're not all the same. These right here are not the same as these here, so. But these little ones, they're all the same. So, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like, oh, we got one more. One more. Alrighty. Yep, now let's get the, uh, Okay, this should come off. The back plate should be able to be removed by now. So am I missing something here? Okay, you know what, who cares? Um, we gotta remove these screws here. So let's do that. This is just to get the shroud off the heat sink. Okay. 
Okay, and these are also different screws, so keep that in mind. Okay, that removes the shroud. And uh, it looks like what Asus has done here is they use some glue there <laughs> to keep the cable in place for the, uh, the fans and the LED light. Or actually, no, there is no LED light. Let me take that back. Um, you know what? Let's see how big these fans are. These are nine point five millimeter fans or centimeter. I'm sorry. So these are ninety five millimeter fans. Yep, ninety five millimeter. Okay. not bad at all um, and this cable here oh man I can already tell this is gonna be a pain. oh well, that's cool this is actually the first time that I see this check this out um, this little cable here this is for the fans it actually has like a you know like a squeeze mechanism here you just got to squeeze it like that and it comes right out so kudos to asus man it's about time that way you don't have to fight um tooth and nail to get this thing off of here okay i see the, you can't take off the back plate because it's got screws here all right let's get these off Bye-bye warranty. Sink layout and one of the uh, thermal pads here actually fell off. Um, kudos also to Asus because they are using um, good thermal pads here. These are actually, you know what, let me just put it back over here. These are actually good thermal pads. Um, I can tell by the makeup of it, of them. Um, they're not silicone. Uh, which a lot of these silicone, a lot of these thermal pads that a lot of GPUs are using, um, for, for example, EVGA back in the days, I don't know, well, there's no more EVGA, but a lot of those cards had thermal pads that leaked oil, you know, because they're silicone based. Um, but these here, they look, they seem to be a pretty good quality. So, uh, yeah, I like, I like to see that. Let's put this back where it belongs. All right, yeah. Um, and, you know, according to how this came off, so it looks like these two, these right here, this thermal pad is actually covering, let's see, oh, these two here. So it looks like these are some type of Okay, I have no idea what that is there. Uh, I know this is your VRM. Uh, and you have full coverage here, as you can tell. So that is a really good thing that Asus is doing that. I've seen some cards where the heat sink is just kind of like partially covering the VRM, if you know what I mean. So it's not full coverage, uh, not a good thing. Okay, um, let's put this aside. Here. 
instead. And let's clean up that core and take a closer look at it. Um, also, I just want to point out that the um, actually the um, the thermal paste, of course, is a brand new card. So uh, the thermal paste is still uh, soft. It's not hard. Um, I have actually. <laughs> I've actually purchased graphics cards and uh, right out of the box the thermal paste is hard as a rock so um, I'm not saying that I'm not saying anything about the quality of the thermal paste I'm not saying that it's good it's premium or it's bad or anything I'm just saying that it's soft that's that's all um, so take that as you may Let's spray some alcohol there. There we go. Try to get all that thermal paste off of here because we're going to be using Karina Thermal Grizzly Extreme. Or cryonaut extreme. I don't like that white stuff there, but whatever. Okay, let's get the back plate off and see what's behind here. I don't think they used any uh, thermal pads on the back plate itself or behind the back plate, but I guess we'll find out. days when four screws would be enough to take a graphics card apart. Nowadays, not so much. Okay, so now the back plate should come off. Yep, let's see here. Hope I'm not missing any screws. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. Actually, they are using a thermal pad or something back there. Check this out. All right. Right on, Asus. Right on. Now this is pretty, this is a pretty thick thermal pad here. Um, here's the back of the card, but this to me takes the cake. Look at that. Now let's see how big this thermal pads are. All right, so let's start with this one here. Yeah, this, wow, look at this thing. Now let's see, this is, Okay, it's a three millimeter thermal pad, as you can see there. Okay, so this is a pretty thick pad that they're using here. And the other ones, these two here are the same size, it looks like, yep, they're the same size. These are gonna be, let's see here. Yep, these are two millimeter. Yep, they're two millimeter pads. Okay, so great. Right on. So two millimeter and three millimeter in the rear. And as far as the um, VRM and the memory let's see here looks like 
Asus is using, these are one millimeter. One millimeter pads. I'm not squeezing there at all, it just happened to <laughs> catch there. Um, and the one on the VRM, it's also the same, it's one millimeter. Um, this little one here, also one millimeter. So they're all the same size here at the front. Um, as you can see there from a side view, you can clearly tell just visually that they're, they're the same size, exactly the same size. All right, so yeah, great. All right, Asus is using good quality thermal pads as well as placement. They're doing good, which I am happy actually to see this didn't cheap out. I mean, this is not even a high-end graphics car, so, you know, this is an entry-level 1080, um, 1080p graphics card, and they're using, yeah, nice, decently sized fans. Um, the aluminum heat sink, if you look at the, how dense it is, it's, it's okay, it's not bad. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's put it back together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut Extreme on here. Um, because I want to just add thermal paste to this and forget about it. Never have to worry about it. That's the idea. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so here we go. And this might seem like a lot, but it actually isn't. This is the one thing about this paste is that it is pretty, pretty thick. So when you apply it, you have to kind of glide. You can't just pick up the spatula in the middle of it because you take a big chunk of thermal paste with you. So you have to slide all the way to the end like so like that okay so let's go ahead and put on the uh, back plate all right So you have to be careful when you put the back plate back on here. Um, make sure that the thermal pads in the back line up, otherwise you'll be in a world of trouble. All right, let's put the heat sink back on here. In order to do this, you have to have a different angle of approach. Otherwise, you'll never get this on there. There we go, just like that. We use this here, kind of prop it up. Anyway. All right, so we got the heat sink back on here. All the pads are where they're supposed to be. So that's good. in there we go okay so many screws 
could take this apart, man. Wow. All right, guys, so it's back together. Although with better thermal paste, in my opinion. Um, by the way, I forgot to measure the, uh, the heat pipes, but I can do that now. If we go off these here, Asus is using six millimeter pipes. Yep. So as you can see there, six millimeter. Okay, so wipe it down a little bit. Take the tape off of here. Here we go. Alright guys, so that's been the unboxing and teardown of the Asus RX 6650XT dual graphics card. Um, my opinion, it looks like they used uh, great cooling solutions here. The fin stack, the aluminum fin stack, uh, thermal pads, thermal pad placing, um, six millimeter heat pipes you get a total of three of them and again this is a 175 tdp graphics card so that's more than plenty uh great looking little card i think in my opinion so yeah and i like this retention system here versus the uh, spring loaded uh screws i don't know what you call this i forget what but the yeah technical term is but anyway yeah that's been my uh Unboxing and preview and teardown of this card. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. I'll see you in the next one